Hi, my name is Alex Goldberg. I wrote Broad Daylight and watched this video to see why this play is the play my mother hates the most. I first heard about the Talking It Out Festival while I was researching submissions, as all playwrights do. They continually go to every resource to find out where am I going to submit plays? And you, know, you find something, you find a play, oh, do I have something that fits what they're looking for? And uh, do you, you know, will I submit it? And Talking It Out was a perfect opportunity for me for two reasons. One, it, they were seeking call for plays uh, dealing with uh, mental health issues. And two, it was initially going to be a live play before it uh, got quarantined. Uh, it was gonna be in New York City and I haven't had a play staged in New York uh, uh, for close to a decade. So I'm always looking for any opportunity to get back and be on stage in New York. Broad Daylight is a 10 minute play that was inspired by a very real and concerning situation that's going on in our country and worldwide. The spark for me was um, legislation was passed in either North or South Dakota, I don't remember, that gave sanctuary at hospitals for people who could not care for uh, relatives who were either elderly or suffering from a physical or mental uh, disability. They said, no questions asked, bring your family and we will take them. And the first weekend that the law was passed or, or that the legislation opened, the, the window opened, they had thousands of people were dropped off. People from as far away as Mississippi drove their relatives to the Dakotas, to a hospital so they could drop them off so they would be safe and they wouldn't have to um, deal with them anymore for whatever reason. And that sparked something in me is what does it take to get to that point when you can't care for your relatives and you're just going to abandon them? And this is not about shaming anyone. It's about where, how desperate is your situation when you're saying goodbye to a loved one forever? So the uh, story of Broad Daylight is a, a mother and son who uh, are walking. They're out for a long walk and they stop at a park bench to rest. And it is clear that uh, the mother is eccentric. She is, uh, uh, says what's on her mind. She doesn't have a filter. And the son seems to be at his end, at wit's end with her. He's heard all the stories. He's listened to her talk about his brother who lives across the country and how great he's doing. Uh, he's heard it all and he's just tired. So they sit on a park bench to try to sort things out. That's where the play starts. What I would like audiences to take from this play is a couple of things. One, it is for the most part a comedy. There's a lot of humor in it. So I, I hope that the laughs are there and I hope that makes everyone entertained. But second, that it's hard when parents are getting older, it is hard to figure out everything, to navigate what it means to suddenly become the care, uh, the caregiver uh, of, of someone, uh, especially when you're on your own and alone. So I want there to be um, uh, empathy for both sides of the story. Uh, and there are two sides to the story. I hope that uh, you know, people will walk away with a better understanding of what caregivers do in their uh, work and how families are often quietly suffering. Um, that was, is hopefully the takeaway from this play. I'm looking for a healthy discussion to emerge from this among both the audience and the uh, uh, storytellers. Uh, it's a great community that uh, Anthony uh, Piccioni has put together um, where the whole world that this is uh, encompassing is the world of mental illness. So there are, all plays are going to be different. I'm curious to know, what am I going to learn from the other plays? What will I think differently about after watching these plays that I didn't know before? Hopefully it's the same effect with mine. I mean, he's partnering with uh, NAMI, which is the National Alliance on Mental Illness, uh, and benefit uh, proceeds from uh, uh, this series will go to that uh, uh, organization will be split, I believe, between the organization and the theater. But uh, um, so it's a good partnership. I've uh, had family members who have been involved with NAMI and uh, I'm happy that I can be involved with this organization by using my art. This uh, is important to me uh, and part of the inspiration of the show came from my grandmother uh, who uh, lived into her eighties and we realized after she passed that she had been suffering, suffering from uh, uh, debilitating uh, uh, mental 
illness. It wasn't necessarily Alzheimer's, but it was some sort of uh, dementia. We weren't sure. And the symptoms are, which show up in my play, are quirky. They're not uh, that awful at first. The filter comes off. My uh, grandmother would start making R-rated jokes and would tell me stories that were not inappropriate to share with a grandson. And, and one example, which my family will kill me over, is that she took me out to dinner once when I was in college. And she said to me over dinner at a Chinese restaurant, she said, you know, I wasn't a virgin when I got married, which is a crazy thing to say to your grandson. And I, of course, said the worst thing possible, which was, oh, and, you know, that's all I could think of. And then she launched into the story, which is very innocent and was my grandfather. But, and I'm not going to go into any more details other than that, but uh, things like that are, are the initial signs of, you know, the guard is being let down. That's usually the first sign of some of these mental uh, debilitating illnesses. Not all of them. I'm not, I'm not a doctor by any stretch, but some of them are. The guard is down. People become more openly racist is one. Like they start using slurs that they never used before in their lives. That shows up in the play. It can be a little unsettling. The first two minutes, you got a character using uh, ethnic slurs. It kind of comes out. It, you know, hopefully it's a little funny and a little unnerving, but this is based on truth. And I had someone actually, there was a production at uh, um, Little Fish Theater in San Pedro, a great theater company. And I actually got an email from uh, an audience member said, I really liked your play but I didn't like that the mother said some racist things. And so I explained it to her, I said, this is why she said those things. It's not because she's really racist, it's because the filter is being turned off. And she said, oh, I understand that now, thank you very much. It's difficult to watch. So sometimes these things are difficult to digest, but they're real. Diseases like uh, uh, dementia and Alzheimer's uh, are prevalent and it's important to recognize the early symptoms because uh, they will, creep up on you if you're not prepared. And by addressing them early, you can help in the quality of life. There are you know, drugs that can be taken, there are therapies that can be tried, which will not cure these illnesses, but can provide for a better quality of life and, uh, uh, and better um, also provide for those caregivers the, uh, um, the tools to handle it. So hopefully, I'm not saying that my play is going to uh, <laughs> solve uh, family problems, but maybe it'll give an in to other people to be like, oh, I see how that worked there. Oh, I see what happened there. Uh, and I see how that could be relevant in my life or in my friends' lives. I'm very excited to see this play again. Uh, I'm very fortunate. It's one of my most produced short plays. Uh, it actually premiered in Taiwan in Mandarin, which is very exciting to see. And it's been uh, performed a couple of times around the country. So to see it uh, in New York uh, with these New York actors, it is going to be a wonderful joy. Um, and to see this part of an evening of other 10 minute plays is also just a great, great uh, uh, experience. And this festival is going to span three different nights over various months. So he's staging these plays now, and then we'll stage a whole new crop of plays in a few months. And the fact that it's sort of a living festival, a living, um, experience about mental illness is uh, a good uh, a good thing to have. Hi, I'm Alex Goldberg and my play Broad Daylight will be part of the Talking It Out Festival, which highlights uh, mental illness and all the plays will be dealing with various facets of mental illness.